Okay. Ano po yun? Ano po yun? Ano po yun? Ano po yun? At kasama po natin ngayon si Ma'am. Kathleen Tantuiko. Okay. So, you're, ano, saan po kayo connected mo? Um, graduate po ako ng UP Archaeological Studies Program, Diploma. Tapos, nag-UP Law din po ako. Okay. So, pakilala naman po natin yung team natin, Ma'am. Opo. So, ito po si Rebecca Ferreira. Uh, master student po ng UP Archaeology. At nag-hukay din po siya dito noong 2015. Siya po si Kate Lim. Siya po ang aming Deputy Site Director. Uh, nagtapos po siya ng Master sa UP Archaeology at kasalukuyang PhD student sa Germany. Nice. Diyan naman po si Fai Bangahan, Master Student din po sa UP Archaeology. Si Ellie Lim, um, may Master's na po sa Archaeology. Ngayon kasalukuyang University Research Assistant sa UP Archaeology. At si Mark Garcia po, um, Master student din po sa UP. Why archaeology? <laughs> Interesting po yung mapag-aralan yung mga previous generations. Tapos nung nag-law school din po ako, na-realize ko na may mga kaso na pinoprotektahan yung future generations o po sa versus factoran. Eh bakit yung past generations wala pang mga kaso na nagpapaprotekta talaga? So... Yun. So, ano po yung initial nakikita? <laughs> so, <laughs> Kinopia talaga. So, for now, we're getting mostly animal remains and stone tools. Okay. That's mostly what we're getting in the last few days. So, in a scale of 1 to 10, ilan dapat na pasensya mo pag archaeologist ka? <laughs> 12. <laughs> 12. Kasi hindi naman template na yung you lupa it's all the same so you have to have patience to explore and and investigate in what's happening in the excavation because there's so many because there's so many things going on so merong um, sediments coming in from outside mga <coughs> tapos yung yung sediment from the cave itself mga bato from the cave so kailangan mo ng a lot of patience to <laughs> Carefully and systematically excavate everything. Yep. Um, your name is? Florent Detroit. I'm and from France, from Paris. And oh. I work at the National Museum of Natural History in Paris. Okay, nice. So, how long have you been an archaeologist? Oof. Uh, for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I got my position in 2004, so that was uh, 16. 16 years ago, and I think I started archaeology, I don't know, when I was 14 or 15. Nice. <laughs> so you're part of the team that discovered Homo is that yeah. right? Yeah, I participated in the excavation in 2011, mm. then 2015. And this is when most of the, the fossils uh, of Homo lucinensis were, were found. So, mm. And then after, I, I participated in the study, uh, in the analysis of the fossils and the publication. And for you, what's the significance of finding an older um, human species? It's not every day that you discover a new species of, of the genus Homo. And... Uh, it's also, there are so many interesting things. Uh, first, they were contemporaneous with our species, Homo sapiens. So let's say it's quite recent for prehistory, but it's very interesting to see that several human species were living on Earth not such a long time ago. And all of them got extinct, went extinct except Homo sapiens, except us. So this is very interesting, yeah. uh, several very interesting characteristics are found on, on the fossils, on the teeth and the bones of mm -hmm. Homo lucinensis. Very interesting primitive features, for instance on the foot bones, uh, features which show that the Homo lucinensis was probably able to climb trees. Uh, which is very unusual for a recent mm -hmm. human species. And this is the kind of feature you find in Australopithecus 
fossils in Africa three million years ago, so it's, uh, it's very surprising. And yes, it's a, it's a nice assemblage of fossils showing the effect of uh, island evolution here in the sun, so it's, uh, it's really fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> And that is it for this video. A huge shout out to the excavation team for letting me experience your work up close and personal. Thank you very much. It is my hope and my prayer that you make another breakthrough discovery in our very own Kalau Cave. If you live close by, especially you, my fellow Cagayanos, there's no better time to visit Kalau Cave. But now, from the time that you're watching this video until March 20, when they officially end, their excavation expedition. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell for more Kang of the World action. See you in the next video. Kang of the World, peace out. Mabalo!